what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Seth and Sergio. And we are back in these streets. And um, shout out the lawn care rookie he gave me a referral to a real estate agent. And um, we're going to do a bid on the house. So and if, if they like the bid, then we'll cut it today. If not, we won't. And we've got some other yards to cut. But, um, Second time out cutting in the truck. It's much more comfortable. Uh, so uh, when we get to that first property, and we'll talk to y'all later. All right, this is what we're working with. Front yard's not that big. Doesn't look like it's much of a backyard. Yeah, nice house though. Yeah, not much of a backyard. Not much. <laughs> ain't no backyard really. <laughs> There's a lot of racing. Alright, so we're gonna give him a call, give him a price. We'll blow off this deck. I know that. Alright. Shabby, not too shabby. Ah, I'm catching BJ's allergies. Oh, oh buddy. All right, people. I think I might have my first customer. I might have to let go. <laughs> so I got this customer last year. And when I first got the customer, she said that, uh, she said, it, I should have, it should have, I should have read the writing on the wall, but she said that the last landscaper stopped answering our phone calls. <laughs> and started, so she said she was looking for somebody else and they referred them to me, her to me. And so I started cutting it and I priced it. It's a big yard. Garen minimal probably it should have been like $85 or $80 to cut and I gave it to her for $65 because I try to look out for like single moms and old, older people and stuff so I gave it to her for $65 and she still thought that was too much but I sold well so I cut and cut last year she was kind of picky she would call me back and have me touch up stuff and so that was whatever so she asked me at the end of last year could you do a clean up do you do leaf cleanups? I said, yeah. But she didn't call me all winter time. She didn't even call me like in February or March. She waited until April to call me just now. And she has piles of leaves that are already decomposing into gunk. And she piled them up over the winter time. And now she wanted me to come and clean them up. So she said she wanted me to get up the leaves, piles of leaves that she had and do a cleanup, that's what she said. So to my understanding, she just wanted me to get those leaves up and then cut her yard. So we come out today and it's like way more leaves than I thought it was. It's leaves all in the ditch, all along the street. And so we, um, we get to the point where we're like, well, if we keep putting leaves on, on our trailer, we're not gonna be able to fit our mowers back on here. So I call her, you know, most customers I call, they're like, you know, I call them and I'm like, hey, you know, 
we're gonna do most of the work we're gonna cut it and we're gonna get most of the leaves up but some of the leaves we gotta come back and get because we don't have enough room on the trailer and to her it was like it didn't compute like she didn't understand that she was like well i thought you were gonna do a cleanup i thought you were cleaning up everywhere and so then come to find out not only did she want me to get up those piles she wanted me to clean up everywhere and she has a million leaves in her yard she's one of those woody houses that has like a bunch of piles of leaves those leaves were there before i even came last year and now she wanted me to clean them up this year and so i'm like i don't even really want to do that one and like i'm kind of getting tired you know of messing with this yard so i gotta figure something out i don't really want to go back but um i gotta let her know something so does anybody want a property <laughs> yeah do you do leaf cleanups do you have a a vacuum or something to come clean this property up what do you think like what do you, you think it was a how much i mean how many hours do you think it would take to clean up that whole yard you just some leaf blowers up probably like three three four hours because she has because her leaves have been overgrowing like stacy says before we even got there so just imagine how many leaves it is that's basically how Stacy says decomposing in the yard like and she uh, and she freaking expect us to come save the day for a cheap price huh <laughs> she got another thing coming yeah and so I and then I told her on the phone I said I was willing to like cut off some of the hourly rate because we weren't able to do everything today but she still wasn't really satisfied with that she like she wanted everything done she wanted it cut she didn't want not one leaf left in the yard today and i'm like i can't do all that i'm not no big super landscaping company i can't do all that it's just me and bj you know <laughs> and now clay you know so that's the situation with that house but i'll figure it out <laughs> 